Hello everyone, this is Mark and welcome to attend Alibaba Cloud Online Training. In this lesson, we will talk about how to do ECS disk data backup and recovery. And here are the knowledge points, process and resources that will be used in this lesson. First, mounting an ECS instance and using a data disk. Using an ECS instance data disk snapshot. Using an ECS instance system disk snapshot. Creating a user-defined image using system disk snapshot. And applying a user-defined image to ECS instance. And here are the procedures. First, mount the data disk to ECS instance. Format and mount the data disk to the file system. Create an ECS data disk snapshot. Roll back the data disk using snapshot. Create an ECS system disk snapshot. Create a user-defined image using system disk snapshot and apply a user-defined image to ECS instance. And let's start with introducing the key ideas that are used in this lab. So, in this experiment, we will learn how to do data backup and recovery of ECS, mounting the residual data disk to the ECS instance, logging onto the ECS instance, formatting and partitioning the mounted disk, Mounting ext4 file system to normally use the mounted data disk on the ECS instance. Creating a snapshot for the data disk. And restoring the data status when the snapshot is created using a snapshot rollback. And in addition to that, we will also create a snapshot for the ECS system disk. Create a user-defined image using the system disk snapshot. And finally, we will specify the image as the user-defined image created by us when creating a new ECS instance. So the first thing that we need to do is to click on Start Lab, then click on Launch. All right. <clears throat> so from here, next thing that we need to do is to open the console. All right, now this page was asking for a RAM username and a RAM user password. So this is your RAM username. So click on that, paste it here. And for your RAM password, it's gonna be this. Click on this, paste it here. Click on logged on. All right, so we are now in the in our console page. So the first thing that we need to do is to mount the data disk and create a data disk. After the experiment environment is started, the system will automatically create a separate cloud disk for us. So here's the first step that we need to do. We need to click on Elastic Compute Service. And after this, we need to go to Cloud Desk. From here, you would be able to see that the disk status of this one, it should be available. After that one, we need to click on More, then Attach, click it. It will be asking for a target instance. Click on the drop down, click this one, and click on attach. From here, the disk status, earlier it is available and now it is attaching. All right, so the disk status was now changed into in use. And guys, let's say for example, if you encountered any warning messages or you know a message pop up all right don't worry all you need to do is to refresh your page and you'll be able to see it it has been successfully mounted okay so after the mounting is completed we need to enter the ECS instance details page to view the device name of the mounted data desk 
All right, so here we go. We need to go to instances. Clicked on this. We need to go to instance dist. And then from here, you would be able to see the device name itself. All right. So the next thing that we need to do is to format the data disk. So guys, if you were using Windows computer or Windows OS, you actually need to download this tool which is called SSH Tool Putty. All right. But if you were using Linux or Mac OS, you don't need to download this stuff. All right. But since since our system is not allowing me to download Putty, I do have here another way to finish this step. So here, from instances, you actually need to click on connect. So instead of using Putty, we will be using VNC. I will show you how to do this. Click on cancel, then modify VNC password. Type in one, two, three, four, five, six. Re enter it. Click on OK. Then click this button which says send remote command. Then connect to management terminal. This one, it should be connected. It will be asking for your password, which we created earlier. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Click on OK. All right. So it will be asking for a logged in name or an account name. Type in root. And for the default password, it's going to be lower caps NK, uppercase YHG. 890 dot dot click on enter it will show you that you've been logged in now so we need to view instance data disk information using this command first command that we need to type in would be f disk space dash l so some people might be confused because this letter L looks like a number one, but it should be letter L. Click on enter. And we can actually locate the device name of the data disk that was just mounted, which means that the mounting is normal. Here it is. Okay. And the next command that we need to type or that we need to run would be f disk space forward slash dev forward slash bdc and click on enter. All right, it will be asking for another command. Just type in letter n as then letter p. Default number should be one. Click on enter twice. And then type in WQ. Right. After typing in those commands, we need to type in F disk space dash L. All right, so from here, we could actually see that a device is added to output information and the device compromises the shard, which is the command forward slash dev forward slash vdz1. All right, and we need to create a file system on the new shard. So we can do that by typing in this command. It should be mkfs dot ext4 space forward slash gev forward slash vdc1 click on enter all right now it was showing here that the allocating group tables was done 
endnote tables was done, creating a journal was done. Writing super blocks and file system accounting information was done as well. So we need to do backup shard table. And it was recommended, by the way. So run this command, which is cp space forward slash etc forward slash f tab space forward slash etc forward slash f tab dot b a k click on enter we need to write new shard information in the shard table okay so here's the command it's echo space forward slash dev forward slash bdc1 space forward slash mnt forward I mean space ext4 then default space zero space zero and whatever you call this sign it's like an arrow facing to the right space forward slash etc forward slash f tab then click on enter and last we need to type in c a t space forward slash etc forward slash f tab all right so finally mount the file system that was just created earlier in the new shard and we need to view the use of the data test here default should be zero zero be able to check whether we've successfully created this stuff so we need to mount the file system so let's type in mount Space forward slash dev forward slash b dc1 space forward slash mnt click on enter and then let's type run run this command which is df space dash h all right so as you can see the new data disk has been successfully formatted and mounted onto the file system and can nor can normally be used now here this one the next thing that we need to do is to enter the mount directory and uh, let's add some test data so here's how we do it type in cd space forward slash mnt all right then touch s dash file all right then echo or echo lab x dash aliun space arrow sign test dash file right. then let's type in cat test dash file all right so next thing that we need to do is to create a data disk snapshot so we need to go back to ECS manage console don't forget to use US Silicon Valley just a tip and reminder for you guys so we need to click in instances click on the instance ID name and let's go to instance desk alright so from here since we need to create a snapshot all we need to do is to click on this create snapshot it requires your snapshot name so you can put any other name but for now I will be using disk dash snap shot let me see snapshot okay all right 
So after doing that, let's say if we successfully created a snapshot. So click on Instant Snapshots. Now shows here under or yeah under progress at zero percent. So the next thing that we need to do is to wait for this percentage to reach 100 or to be completed. So let's see. All right, since it's 100% right now, it was completed. Status is success. All right. So we've successfully created a this snapshot. Name again would be this the snapshot. All right, the next thing that we need to do is to do a snapshot rollback. All right, so here's what we need to do. We need to go back here at this console page. All right, we need to carry out data recovery or reproduction via snapshot rollback. So let's see, type in the command cd space forward slash mnt and again it's letter l ll not one one you might be confused on that all right then type in rm paste test dash file click on enter so snapshot rollback by the way it requires that the instance it should be in stop status so first, we need to stop the instance using the console. So let's go back to ECS Management Console page. All right. Click on this. More than stopped. Okay. All you need to do if you see this pop up, click on OK. Now the status was stopping. We need to wait for it. It may take a couple of minutes, one to two, or it may be longer, but the status should be stopped before you can do anything. All right, so the status right now was stopped. Next thing that we need to do or after stopping the instance, we need to enter the snapshot list page. So now to do that, we need to click on instance ID name and go to instance snapshot, click in here, disk rollback. Yeah, there's another pop-up, click on OK. All right. Now, after rolling back test is completed, the instance will be restarted. So we only need to view whether the instance is started automatically to determine whether snapshot rollback is completed. So let's see. Let's go back. Now the status, it was now starting, it should be running. All right, guys, so once the status is now running, we need to go back to PuTTY if you were using PuTTY, or could go back here at VNC since we're using this VNC as a substitute for PuTTY. So you need to type in again the login username as root password. Don't forget it. It's the default password that we've used earlier. It's NK, lower caps, then uh, YKHG890 dot dot. And right after that, we need to type in this command, which is CD space MNC and LL. So whenever you see this symbol or stuff, all right, it's a letter L. Okay not a number one good okay and we can type in this and just file boom now after starting all right log into the ecs instance again and view whether the file is just 
which has been deleted has been restored and right now it was showing here that the file that was just deleted has been restored now okay so the next thing that we need to do is to install applications in the system using a system this snapshot well anyway we can install some applications in the system then we can create a snapshot of the system disk and in this way uh, installed application data will be saved in the snapshot all right and we will uh, take example the GIF or GIF all right so we need to type in this command all right so let's start at cd space dot dot forward slash click on enter then apt because we need to install this okay apt dash get update now it was updating all right please do make sure that update uh, prog progress should be 100 percent okay for the status so let's see we're still waiting for this one okay now it's done so we need to type in apt dash get install git okay let's click on enter all right so do you want to continue yes type in letter y set wait for for this one to finish downloading and stuff okay once it's done all right inside this one uh, we have exec executed the operations above installed and get so we need to enter the command below all right to view whether G8 or git is correctly installed so let's see all right same is working okay and the next thing that we need to do all right is to create a system this snapshot and anyway uh, if you see the content shown here all right it means that git or git has been installed correctly all right so let's go back to ECS management console all right and let's go to instance disk all right and let's do this one okay create snapshot now we need to type in system All right let's go to instant snapshot need to wait for this whole thing again all right it was pretty usual since you were trying to do some stuff all right all right guys so once it's done all right the next thing that we need to do is to simply create custom image here anyway the installing time it may take longer than a minute so all we need to do is to wait for this one to be finished all right so let's do this click on create your custom image all right and it will be yeah it will be asking for an image name so we'll be using labex underscore alleyune underscore image okay sorry sorry about that copy then let's delete this all right create click on create okay all right so the next thing that we need to do is to click on this back button all right let's go to images let's see all right so you can see there was an image available here progress or status available 100 percent so that's good all right so 
Right now, the only thing that we need to do before we end this tutorial is to create an ECS instance using user-defined image. So how do we do that? All right, so let's go back here at instance. Okay. All right, and click on create instance. Um, uh -huh. all right, okay, try that one more time, okay, custom image, let's choose on, Okay, so guys, in this uh, stage, all right, it says based on the step-by-step -step procedures, after selecting custom image, all right, uh, to view the user-defined image that we've just created, which is labex underscore aliyun underscore image, and we select and apply it. All right, due to some restrictions of the experiment environment, we cannot successfully create an ECS instance. All right, perhaps maybe I can show you what it means. Look, after clicking in this ECS service terms and product terms of services, normally you could actually purchase this. Let's try. It will definitely give you an error. Unable to activate, submit the ticket. Click on. All right. So, I think that is the last step that we need to do. Okay. And to represent the user defined image, all right, I personally, individ or, you know, I personally purchased an ECS instance and applied the image LabX underscore aliyun underscore image and the effect image is as follow you can ch ch check it out here that's gonna be like this all right then uh, after purchasing it you can use connect that's it okay so after logging in into the new ECS instance all right we could directly execute the command git without installing git in advance okay all right and we find out that git or git has been installed in the system which means that the created image lab x underscore aliyun underscore image has taken effect all right So, guys, right before we leave this lab, please remember to log out your Alibaba RAM account before you click the stop button. All right, and otherwise, you'll encounter some issue when opening a new lab session in the same browser. And before we end this, all right, in this experiment, by the way, we mainly learned that backup and recovery of ECS. Mounting the residual data disk to the ECS instance, logging onto the ECS instance, formatting and partitioning the mounted disk, mounting ext4 file system to normally use the mounted data disk on the ECS instance, creating a snapshot for the data disk, restoring the data status, all right, when the snapshot is created using snapshot rollback. And in addition to that, we also create a snapshot for the ECS system disk, create a user-defined image using the system disk snapshot, and finally specify the image as the user-defined image created by us when creating a new instance. All right. And I think, guys, that's all for this training, and thank you for watching. You have a good day.